as the Mayor of London, I want to send a clear message to the sick and evil extremists who commit these hideous crimes. We will defeat you. You will not win. A defiant stance in the face of terror as thousands gather at a vigil for those killed and wounded during Saturday's attack in London. And this is what the new normal looks like in the UK as Londoners head back to work. Security barriers were set up on several bridges in an effort to stop vehicles from plowing into pedestrians. The latest act of terror has Britain's Prime Minister promising to ramp up the war against ISIS. We cannot go on as we are. Enough is enough. We must do more, much more, to take on and defeat the evil ideology of Islamist extremism that preaches hatred, sows division, and promotes sectarianism. It is an ideology that promotes a false choice between our Western values of freedom, democracy, and human rights, and the religion of Islam. It is a perversion of Islam and a perversion of the truth. ISIS was quick to claim credit for Saturday's attack. The three suspects were all shot dead by police. Two of them were named today. 27-year-old Kuram Bhatt was a British citizen born in Pakistan. He lived east of London and was married with five kids, well known to authorities. Much less is known about 30-year-old Rashid Radwan, who claimed to have both Moroccan and Libyan roots. <laughs> We're still waiting to learn the name of the third suspect who helped drive a van into pedestrians on London Bridge and then went on a stabbing spree, killing seven people and wounding 48 others. It was the third terror attack in England in three months. Former CSIS and RCMP operative Mubin Sheikh was on BT this morning. He says we have not seen the last of these types of ambushes. We don't live in a movie. Uh, it's not a TV show. Um, you know, everyone says, you know, we, we demand an end to these attacks, but demanding an end to attacks is not going to end attacks. It's going to require hard work, counterterrorism work. And uh, we're, we're in for the long haul. This is not over. Uh, this is not the last attack. Uh, Ramadan, uh, ISIS has encouraged their acolytes to attack people in Ramadan. So you're going to see more attacks like this in Europe and elsewhere. Eleven more people were rounded up by British police in a series of raids today. That's in addition to the dozen arrests made over the weekend. The terror level remains at severe across the U.K. tonight, meaning another attack is highly likely. Appearing on a U.S. talk show today, Canada's Prime Minister said there's a fine line between protecting people and restricting personal freedom. Keeping our country safe, uh, our country safe is, is the biggest responsibility for any leader. And there's all sorts of different things we need to do, whether it's investing in safety, security, police officers, and uh, investigative national security stuff, or, or whether it's creating a society in which uh, we're there for each other, we lean on each other, we're resilient enough to handle uh, you know, bad things happening without you know, falling into a bad space. I mean, that balance defending our security and keeping us Canadian uh, is what people expect of me and I'm always going to do both of those things. A Canadian woman was among the victims. Christine Archibald worked in a homeless shelter in British Columbia before moving to London to be with her fiance. The couple was on London Bridge when the van came plowing through on Saturday night.